have you ever heard of this stuff? Permanganate of potash, or potassium permanganate, or Condi's crystals. A very important chemical, and a fairly common one too. Let's have a look at it. I'll take the lid off. You can buy it from a chemist's shop, but if you're going to do any experiments with it, make sure you have an adult there to help you, because it is quite poisonous. Look at it, crystals, shiny little crystals. They're almost black, but actually they're a sort of a purpley color. I just have a few left on the stick. Let's see what happens if I drop them into water. Watch carefully. Look at that, a beautiful purple color. I'll put a few more in and stir them around. And pretty soon, the whole glass of water takes on that purple color. Potassium permanganate, or permanganate of potash, was used quite a lot some years ago as a disinfectant or an antiseptic because it'll kill germs very readily. It was also used to treat snake bites, not so often anymore, but it's still used a lot by chemists because of the things that it can do. It has a chemical formula which is written like this, KMNO4. The K stands for potassium, the MN for manganese, and the O for oxygen means it has quite a lot of oxygen in it and it can do amazing things to other chemicals. Have a look at this. I'll take another chemical. You've heard of this one too. Hydrogen peroxide. Sometimes it's just called peroxide for short. It's also used as a disinfectant and it's also used as a bleach. I'll pour some into this glass and before I do anything else I'm going to put a little bit of potassium permanganate in there in a moment, the solid crystals, but I'm going to get something else ready and that's a piece of burning wood. You'll see why in a moment. Right, here are the crystals of potassium permanganate. They go in and almost immediately we get a fizzing. Look at that, the flame goes higher. If I shake the flame out, put it back in, it'll actually pop back because the gas being given off, those bubbles, it's oxygen. The gas that we need for breathing, the gas that supports burning, a very important gas. Well, we've seen the effect of potassium permanganate on one other chemical, let's have a look at another one. And this is also a fairly common chemical, and it's one that you may find in the medicine cabinet. It's called glycerin. Sometimes it's called glycerine. And it's a clear, syrupy liquid. It's quite sweet, and it's used on babies' dummies, and sometimes it's used to treat mouth ulcers. If I take just a little bit of this glycerin and put it into a heap of potassium permanganate crystals, which I've placed here on the aluminium foil, which is sitting on top of a tile, you'll see why in a moment, an amazing thing happens. Right, we'll pour some glycerin into the teaspoon. I've made a little indentation in the top of that heap of potassium permanganate so that it'll hold the glycerin. There we are. We'll stand back, watch, and listen carefully. You might say nothing much is happening. The glycerin's soaking into that heap of crystals. I can see something starting to happen around the edges. Look at that, smoke. And before long, a flash of purple fire. Looks like fireworks, doesn't it? So I would suggest that you check the medicine cabinet. If the glycerin is sitting next to the potassium permanganate, make sure they're shifted well apart, because that's just one example of something that's very spectacular science. Curiosity.